What is up, guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, today it is an amazing day. Yesterday, all rainy. Today, oh my god, it's freaking beautiful. So, I'm going to be able to finish out. Actually, my, my Russell 4x4 is finished, um, but I'm, we're, we're going to go and drive it. We're going to go drive it. Before we sell it, we'll drive it, see how it drives. Um, but that's not the point of this video right now. This video, we're going to talk about something kind of interesting. Um, there's kind of been a shift in wing styles. Um, when I say wing styles, I'm talking specifically towards A scale. There's been a shift in wing styles, and we're going to kind of go over that today. But before I go over that, which by the way, guys, I know what you're thinking. I should be a Starbucks guy, but so, lately Starbucks has been too sweet for me. Um, McDonald's actually has really good coffee. Someone told me that the other day, and I was like, no way. And then I started getting it. Coffee is legit. But I did get a package. <laughs> it's been like a package opening to start off every video, the past few videos. Let me get my knife here. I'm knocking my coffee over. This one's from Amazon. I don't think this one is as RC related. But it is RC vlog related because I believe this is some of the accessories that I needed for my Hero 7 to make the camera switch. Ooh. Vlogging case, SD cards. Not sure what that is. But boom. This is what's important, guys. Um, I've had some comments, not that many. But some comments about my sound quality on the vlogs, trust me, it hurts, especially since I'm a podcast guy, I know all about sound and that being important. But we're upgrading guys, we actually got a legitimate shotgun mic for the vlog, so hopefully the sound won't be as bad and we'll be able to record some stuff in the wind. So Christmas is another, it's like the third day in a row for Christmas here at the Santa Maria house, which is good, so. All right. So A scale wings. So this is actually the wing that I run. This is just a typical, the stock techno wing that it comes with. The reason why I like running it is because it's super durable. However, there's been a shift in wings and they're starting to look more like this. So let's open this one up. It's starting to look more like this. This is the new techno lightweight wing. Um, you can see the profile difference here. Uh, they're just built a little bit different. So the reason why there's two reasons why this wing is being used more. Actually, there's one main reason why it's being used more. So at the Worlds, and I believe it was the last Worlds, they had something called Winggate. And basically what they were doing is every once in a while, uh, some of these big racing sanctions like to start enforcing more rules than normal. I don't know. I guess this is an old rule that they never enforced in the past. But they have this basically this template where if your wing, the sides of your wing, these side ducts or whatever... If these wing, these parts of the wing don't fit within their little template, that it's not a legal wing. So that template, I don't know what the actual dimensions were, but this failed wing gate. Um, there were a lot of other manufacturers who failed the, I call it wing gate because that was what they named it after everyone started getting busted at the world's race. Um, it failed basically tech. So everyone had to run this Kyosho wing and the Kyosho wing was built similar to this. Techno finally made their own. But that was really the reason why people started pushing to use this wing. And since you have to run this wing at Worlds, and now that they've already brought this up, this, they're going to probably maybe tech this even more, and there's more visibility into the wing. Now everyone's going to this wing. Um, I didn't go to it because none of my races tech wings that hardcore. They're not that hardcore. And again, I liked how durable this wing was. However, recently at the Icebreaker, I had a conversation with Aaron Royston, um, Tex Christopher, a few other guys. Uh, they said this wing is a lot better, and the reason why this wing is a lot better, and it's not just because downforce, but because it's lighter. Um, you st you're also starting to see people use Lexan wings on A-scale buggies. I don't do that. I wreck. I've been known to wreck every once in a while, so it breaks the wing. I don't want to do that. So I didn't want to run Lexan, but the lighter wing actually does change the way your car handles. Because So if you think of your car like a pendulum, like if you're swinging something, if you have something heavy at the end of whatever you're swinging, it swings harder and faster, more velocity. Well, because this wing is more is heavier, whenever you go around a corner, it's actually swinging the tail end of your car a little bit harder than this one. So I've actually been told that this, this wing actually makes your car easier to drive, makes it a little bit more predictable around corners because there's less weight on the back of your car when the, when the rear of the car swings around. 
hope I explained that right. I'm probably gonna get fact checked like crazy because that's what people like to do. But if you again, if you think of like a pendulum effect, and you have let's say you have something with the, you know a string with a ball at the end of it, the heavier the ball is, the more velocity. I don't know if it's the velocity or the the more power you're gonna have swinging it around, and the, the harder it is gonna be to swing around, the harder it is gonna be to stop. Um, so if you have something lighter, obviously it's gonna be a little bit easier to swing around and stop. So I'm gonna try the swing. Um, I ordered three of them because I wasn't sure about how durable they were gonna be and I go through wings anyways. I'll probably go through a wing every, I'm probably every half season. I don't really go through them that bad. I'm still using the original wing that I had on my on my Techno that I, when I bought my Techno and it's still perfectly fine. But I'm gonna switch this wing, see how it is. I'm gonna keep these wings in, on hand just in case I don't like it. But we'll see. So that's that about wings. The other thing I'm gonna do to my car because I haven't raced. I haven't raced in two weekends, guys. I went racing like every weekend to not race in two weekends. I'm going to put the uh, CNC split center diff mount in my car. The Techno car already comes with a split center diff mount, but this just makes it easier to um, to change out the center diff fluid. Uh, and I wanted the aluminum one. I, there's no real need for it. I just thought it was going to be cool. So I'm going to try to race on Tuesday, get some clubbing done on, done on Tuesday. So I'm going to put this on my car, put this on my car, and then we are going to go racing Tuesday. So... If you like this video guys, smash that like button, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to my channel, and you guys will see me next time. Later.